Good morning, coming up on uh, 8 o'clock on this Thursday. A few showers out there, but for the most part, you're going to find dry weather, at least out in about uh, the first part of today. Now, rain showers increasing maybe before lunchtime and certainly this afternoon. The heavy rain that we get today will come in uh, maybe first thing this evening. Could be as early as right around dinner time. There's a cold front that actually crosses our borders about 10 o'clock. So we'll see increasing rain or heavier rain rather this evening ahead of and as that cold front uh, pushes inland. Uh, and I still think it's a pretty good batch of rain, a little, maybe a tenth of an inch possible during the day today, but then heavier rains this evening and overnight tonight. Maybe somebody gets a half of an inch, so certainly I think more than a quarter or three-tenths of an inch uh, across the region. And that should be out of here for the most part by the Friday morning. So Friday doesn't look that bad. Kind of a partly to mostly cloudy day, some scattered showers around, but maybe not much rain. Uh, where you live. Winds this morning out near the gorge east to 25. Winds will become breezy today across much of the region, certainly gusting to 40 out uh, near the gorge, but maybe some other spots as that cold front comes in tonight, get some pretty good wind. And then just a quick note about the weekend. It still looks incredibly wet. Uh, not technically a pineapple express, but that type of a very wet flow with a strong jet stream powering right into us. We get the snow levels on Mount Hood 8,000 feet or higher. We get inches of rain. I think the valley will likely get an inch of rain Saturday, an inch of rain or more on Sunday as well. The coast watching for potential flooding issues uh, with maybe more than six inches of rain up in the coast, uh, coastal range. So that's what's coming this weekend. All right. Have a great Thursday, and I'll talk to you soon.